Chapter 4, Other Secretive Societies, Skull and Bones. These include the Skull and Bones which is active through Yale University, founded in 1832 at Yale University by William Russell and Alfonso Taft. It has been dubbed as America's secret establishment by author Anthony Sutton. It is also known as Chapter 322. Membership of this group is like a who's who of American East Coast society and it includes George H. W. Bush and George W. Bush and John Kerry as well as members from wealthy and powerful families that are steeped in politics, banking commerce and industry. Bush Jr. appointed 11 of his old frat brothers to his administration in his first term in office, as people say in business it's not what you know, it's who you know. This group allegedly had a fascist and communist bent, with a Hegelian philosophy of service to the state. Their oaths mean that nothing will be revealed about the society or people's affiliation with it but in Sylvia Brown's book entitled Secret Societies it included an interesting part from a female eyewitness that had access to the tomb on the Yale campus and said that there were tons of rooms, a whole chain of them. There were a couple of bedrooms and there was this monumental dining room with different rolls of skull and bones songs suspended from the ceiling. There was a President Taft memorabilia room filled with flyers, posters, buttons and the whole room was like a shrine. There was a big living room with a beautiful rug and a big expensive ivory carving in the hallway. The whole thing was on a very medieval scale. The most shocking thing there is like a little Nazi shrine inside. One room on the second floor has a bunch of swastikas, kind of an SS macho Nazi iconography. I think the Nazi stuff was no more serious than all the bones that were around, but I still found it a little disconcerting. William Cooper states in his book that the skull and bones and scroll and key, both from Yale, are secret branches of the Illuminati and that they are both connected to parent organizations at Oxford University All Souls College, in the UK and with the Thule Society in Germany. Author Anthony C. Sutton noted that active membership in Skull and Bones comes from a core group of perhaps 20-30 families. First we find old line American families who arrived on the East Coast in the 17th century, such as Whitney, Lord, Phelps, Wadsworth, Allen, Bundy, Adams. Second we find families who acquired wealth in the last 100 years and sent their sons to Yale such as Harriman, Rockefeller, Payne and Davison. Egg wrote that such families exhibit an old world concern over their heritage and bloodlines and that they utilize arranged marriages to protect or advance their genetic lines of the pseudo-blue. Bloods who owe their origins of inherited wealth and influence to drug running slavery and chosen marriage partners. These intermingled families help and support each other in their quest for genetic dominance and political and financial gain. David Icke believes that this society is a satin satanic worshipping cult that serves the archontic demonic conspiracy as adults after being recruited as students.